Over the course of two years and 2,200 hours, I farmed one billion pumpkins in Hypixel Skyblock. This is how it went. I first started playing Skyblock six days after it was released. I quickly dismissed it for being too grindy because Heart and Diamond took way too long to get. Eventually, I came back to it when a group of friends were playing it and I decided to give it another go. About a month after getting into the game, I was looking up money making methods and stumbled across a YouTuber saying that pumpkin farming was an easy and consistent way to make money. Thinking it was too easy, I began building a full size 164 by 164 farm, where I farm it every once in a while so I could make money and get going in Skyblock. Along with my friends getting back in the Skyblock, a huge interest of mine was Technoblade and its potato war with Squid Kid. When Technoblade won the potato war, I immediately thought to myself, what if I did something similar? He went for 500 million potatoes, why not go for 100 million pumpkins? At the time, potatoes gained about three times more than pumpkins, but they had to be replanted, and pumpkins didn't, so it was easier to farm pumpkins until Replenish came out. This 100 mil goal started a three month long grind, where I announced my goal in a video, and around a month later, I would dedicate almost all of my time into farming. I grinded minion slots so that I could use pumpkin minions to collect whenever needed, and to boost myself towards this arbitrary achievement. The goal of 100 mil seemed completely out of reach for the longest time, considering I was making around 150k pumpkins per hour, and I didn't think I'd be able to dedicate enough time to get there. As time progressed and I got farming 50 after about 2 weeks, where then I switched to an elephant pet to get more drops while farming, my rates increased to just over 200,000 pumpkins per hour. With these new rates, I believed that 100 mil was a lot more achievable, as I could farm about 5 hours per day after school and still be able to live my life outside of farming. About a month and a half after beginning the grind on September 16th, 2020, I had reached 50 million, the halfway point to my overarching and daunting goal. Soon as I thought I was approaching the number one spot, considering I had passed the previous number one, Chrissy, Shabby reached out to me while I was farming and began asking questions, seemingly scoping out his competition. I quickly realized that he was the number one farmer, and now I knew I had some competition up at the top. I wasn't going for a rank, but I knew that I'd like to reach 100 million and hold number one at the same time. There was a short period of time where I was going to be away from home, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't get too far behind from where I wanted to be. So, I bought Hyper Catalysts. These would hold me over for the next four days that I'd be gone, and I had my friend AFK using my alt account during the day, and I would AFK with my school laptop at night. Once I returned, on October 17th, 2020, I collected minions and shot ahead of Shabby, securing my number one spot in pumpkin collection. From here until the 100 mil mark, I was determined to get there faster than originally planned, and no better time than Halloween of 2020. In order to make sure this would happen, I bought Hyper Catalyst whenever possible and tried my hardest to have 24-7 AFK coverage to increase the speed of my minions with a rabbit pet. The morning of Halloween arrived, and I started streaming for the last portion of 100 mil. Finally, after collecting minions for the exact number, 100 mil was achieved for the first time in history. Come on! Last one! 100 mil! Let's go! Let's go! I had done it. Number one pumpkin collection and 100 million pumpkins. After I achieved this goal, my motivation to play the game was virtually non-existent and I decided to quit. I stopped caring about my placement, and six days later, the farming update was released. What? No, dude! This update made my 100 mil seem so much less important because the rates for pumpkin had over doubled what they were before, and all of the changes made me never want to think about Skyblock again. Until Admoni made a video and it blew up. It showed up in my recommended and multiple people messaged me that I was mentioned in the video. In this video, he detailed his whole journey of attempting to get number one in the collection, explaining me as a terrifying rival. If you want to watch this video, which I highly recommend, it will be linked in the corner where you can see his entire journey to number one. At the end of his video, he mentioned the Elite Farming Discord, which an OG high ranking farmer, Kuiper, had invited me to a few months before I had uploaded. If you would like to join the Discord and see if you qualify as an elite farmer, or would just like to check your farming weight on your own, links to the forum post and the elite bot will be in the description. 
Using the farming discord and watching Edmonium streams as motivation, I decided to go ahead and get farming 60 along with the 30% Anita buff. I built all the farms necessary in order to get gold in each contest, and because of the increasing cost of gold medals to get levels, I farmed pumpkins for quick golds. After a while of me grinding, I had achieved farming 60 on February 26th, 2021. Along with farming 60, the new update had added mathematical hoes and a pumpkin dicer, meaning at max rates, crops like potato and carrot had nearly four times the drop rate of pumpkin, even including the new dicer drops. Regardless, I was still boosted to have over 400k pumpkins per hour, and I realized that polished pumpkins were added, so I could farm for a lot longer before selling. Because of this, I decided that I wanted to fill my inventory with polished pumpkins and then sell to NPC all at once. That sold for over 200 million coins. From here, I reached number one pumpkins again, so I stopped farming for a bit to increase some of my other skills so that I wasn't as much of a non. I realized after grinding an inventory of polished pumpkins, another 100 mil would be nowhere near as difficult considering the doubled rates, so I went on. While I was farming, my friend Titanic came up with the idea to have an April Fool's joke to reach 1 billion pumpkins if a video I got reached 1,000 likes. The goal wasn't reached, but I kept farming anyway. After about a month of active farming, I had reached 200 mil on June 5th, 2021, cementing myself as the first person to reach 100 mil and 200 mil pumpkin collection. This milestone changed my motivation, and my will to farm diminished as the days of grinding farming seemed to be over. I began exploring Skyblock where I got Mining 60, I grinded some combat, and I even played other games. A few months had passed, and while talking with a friend USSR hacker, I decided that I could go for 1 billion nether ward. So I quickly got that after roughly 800 hours of farming. By the end of it, every single bit of motivation that I once had was back in full swing. I knew that just any other 100 mil milestone wouldn't suffice. Shabby had passed me by over 150 mil, and I didn't want to be left in the dust. I wanted to be the first to something big, something said to be impossible. One billion pumpkins. I knew that there were going to be some obstacles, so I set myself a reasonable time frame to be at one bill by the end of 2022. With school in full swing and a job just around the corner, I had to find a way to farm with little effort and still be able to complete assignments and do other things. I began designing a semi-AFK farm that would allow me to hold down two buttons and farm infinitely. It would be 15% less efficient than regularly farming, but with how much farming I had ahead of me, I was willing to take the sacrifice. Using the help from people in the Elite Farming Discord, namely Light Exists, The Flying Puffin, and USSR Hacker, tied with Sweet Booty's Redstone, a semi-AFK farm was designed and built on my island for everyone to see. One of the people who saw this was Shabby, who came to my island to warn me about someone who was visiting him a lot. At the time, I was farming using a keyboard on the floor and connecting it to my school laptop, meaning I could farm without paying a ton of attention to my game. Once Shabby said I was farming this way, he quickly condemned it and accused me of cheating for the use of another computer while still using my main. I showed him all the proof that I could that foot farming was not bannable as long as I could notice a macro check and react, but his stance would not budge and he quickly blocked me and announced that he wants nothing to do with me. Although it sucked that my only competition seemed to hate me, I was determined to keep pushing forward and farm as much as possible. Sometimes I would even go as far as farming in class when there was nothing to do. I was slowly making my way towards Shabby, closing the gap millions by millions, day by day, until eventually I tried to check Shabby's collection and I noticed that I did all of his API and visits off. This would mean that there was almost no way I could possibly track him without going through a lot of extra effort. So, with the last update at approximately 510 million collection, I just farmed hoping I would be number one one day. As time moved on, I noticed that the school year was coming to a close, and it wouldn't be sensible to keep using semi-AFK because it was way less efficient and not worth sacrificing the extra time I was going to get. Knowing that I would soon have a lot of time on my hands and that the Mushroom Cow had recently been released, expanding my farms and getting a higher strength would be a great idea. So I extended the farms to be almost max island size, leaving room for my semi-AFK farm on the side of my island. And then I began farming the classic way in late May 2022. Once school ended at the beginning of June, I knew that the time to grind was here. So I began to plan my day entirely around pumpkin farming and doing nearly nothing but farming. I had a schedule from school where I'd go to bed somewhere around 9 to 10 p.m. and wake up at 5 a.m., which gave me a decent amount of sleep and enough time in the morning to be productive. 
Now that I didn't have school, I decided to farm from 5am to 10pm, with obvious breaks for food, showers, and work on the days where I had to. Shortly after the school year ended, I decided to do a 24 hour stream of just farming, where a few hours in, I realized that I had passed Shabby and achieved the number one spot at 587 million collection on June 17th, 2022. Being number one completely caught me off guard, but I knew that I couldn't stop and I'd have to roll with it, especially to finish off the stream. This 24 hour stream began a caffeine addiction where I wasted way too much money on energy drinks to stay more lively throughout the day. Once I had caffeine on my side, I shifted my daily schedule to follow where I'd regularly wake up and then stay up an hour later. This would maximize my GXP for each day, where the daily leaderboard would reset 11pm. So, a schedule of 5am to 11pm was put into place. The end of June quickly became the most scary and intimidating grind I've ever experienced. Then, the heartbreaking news hit. On June 30th, Technoblade, a beloved creator to millions who helped inspire almost the entire farming community, was announced to have passed away from sarcoma. My heart was shattered. I couldn't sleep. What just happened? I just kept farming to let myself process, and over a total of 35 hours, only 5 were downtime. This secured number 1 for the last time. I didn't know what to do or think. I was going out of town for 4th of July, so I was just stuck there, needing to mourn, but needing to make sure farming was still in the question. Over the days I was gone, it was the most depressed I felt. Techno being gone didn't feel like it was possible. It wasn't real. It couldn't be. I knew that for the sake of myself, and for the sake of carrying on Techno's motivational legacy that he gave me and thousands of others, I wasn't about to give up. Hypercatalyst quickly popped in my mind, and I did this. So I have this many hypercatalysts because I like bought a bunch with the techno event, like April of last year. So bizarre fuels hypercatalyst uh, buy instantly because I'm like that. One thousand two. I'm like this, right? One eighty two point five. Ah, oh, that's fun. So much money. Sweet booty's That's visiting money. my island. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweet. <laughs> I'm literally recording a clip right now. Okay, so anyway, we have. This is gonna be like really weird doing it, but we're gonna replace the plasma buckets with hyper catalysts. 16 days on this minion, 16 <laughs> days on that minion. All right, all the minions have hypers. 16 days at 11.48 a.m. on July 8th, 2022. Hypers boosted my minion output astronomically and changed my projections of collecting at Derpy from a gain of 60 to 70 mil to a gain of nearly 100 million pumpkins. This newfound motivation struck my soul deep. My lifestyle got worse, I ate less for the sake of downtime, and I was consistently farming over 12 hours per day throughout July. Because I knew that I was going to need to farm more, I decided that switching my semi AFK farm to be a regular vertical farm would be a good idea. It was about 2% more efficient than the horizontal farm I was using, and required way less effort because all I would have to do is switch keys when I saw that I was falling down a layer. This quickly turned into a joke between some farmer friends as we would spend 12 plus hours in a VC sharing our screens of just farming. 
It got to a point where we were so brain dead that we just said we had monkey brains, and when someone else would fall out of instinct, we would switch keys. The act of monkeying became a regular thing. But anyway, using the vertical farm, it became very easy to farm, and I knew that the end was going to be coming up sooner than planned. Into August, my interest in the finish line spiked. I was doing projections on how much I farmed and when I would hit a billion. Derpy was coming around the corner, meaning I would spike in collection, and getting there would be easier than ever. Despite this, I still had a job to work into the mix, so getting a proper estimate was difficult. The more I figured out, the best possible time for me to hit a bill would be Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. My motivation went to overdrive. Daily, I was breaking my mind over farming, forcing myself a minimum of 14 hours per day on the days I didn't work. It was exhausting, but something told me that I needed to keep going. I would sacrifice everything and do nothing but farm th all throughout the day. And with the insane progress, I realized that hitting a bill on a Tuesday would not be good for a turnout on a one bill stream. So I scheduled it. Sunday, August 21st, 2022. I was going to be the first person in history to hit a billion pumpkins in Hypixel Skyblock. I knew that I was getting close, and I wanted to be done with it, but after collecting nearly 100 million pumpkins for my minions after Derpy, and having to stretch my time to get a bill on Sunday, I almost completely stopped farming. I did some grinding of other things, and collected minions to slowly inch closer and closer to a bill without getting into farming and accidentally going over. The motivation to manually farm nearly disappeared there. During the streams of me grinding different things, I continued to let people know of what was going to happen. I hyped this up the best I could, all the while thinking of how I could do it and what I would do afterwards. The day was soon approaching. On the morning of Sunday, August 21st, 2022, I had everything ready. The stream was set to go, I had a plan. Things were going to be great. I planned on farming for about an hour to get viewers before actually hitting a bill. After this hour, I would collect some minions and farm the rest by hand. Many ideas popped into my mind throughout the stream, including some from other people and some of my own. There was a ton of support and no shortage of ideas. The G party. Sweet booty. <laughs> C Joy <laughs> W Sweet <laughs> Left <No>. Scam <laughs> yeah, You probably should have told him what. How many people in the party now? 38 Jesus Christ <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna farm for uh, until uh my time count it says one hour and then we're gonna collect minions and then we're gonna go to the barn. Three, two, one and done. 999.78. Okay, that's about where I expect it to be. One polished, one polished. Last one. Okay, he's in the way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's so scarily close, but it's still 14k off. Of uh, what that number is. So we have um, about that many. Gotta get that wash time. The amount of people that joined the lobby, it lagged so hard. Sir, I got in. I'm in. I can't even follow. <laughs> the lag. I'm not in. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get really close. We were so close, but I didn't want to mess it up. The idea to get the last pumpkins from the barn seemed funny, but could easily be ruined. RNG drops from the dicer were a problem for the last few thousand, so to combat this, I took out my trusty axe from the first 100 mil, and with the exact amount of space needed in my inventory for a bill, I went to my island and farmed. My heart is actually racing. <laughs> Don't use a pet, perhaps. I think we'll be fine. I should be there. You oh. got it exact? Oh my God. Oh. Two. 
We got we got two ten gifted. Creeper and Melon both gifted ten subs. Let's go. Let's go. I'm I'm waiting for the for the update. The chat spam. Switching forces and update. Let's go! It's there! One billion pumpkins. Well over 2,000 hours of farming by hand. The lowest drop rates out of any crop in Skyblock. And I had done what was believed to be never achievable. Even to me. I was free. School was starting soon, so I'd have to do that along with work and whatever else. But I was free. Farming no longer had to take up 90% of my day, and I was looking forward to getting the other grinds of Skyblock done. I've been doing things like building other farms, trophy fishing, and even playing other games. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, because I know without you guys watching me, I would have never continued this journey. All the support that was shown on the 1 billion stream was insane, and I can't explain how much it means to me. Some specific people that I'd like to mention are Light Exists and Technoblade, two of the most influential people in my life and farming career that sadly have passed on to live another life. Another person is Bank here for being an amazing person and rooting for me along the way, Sour for being a true homie, Titanic for fueling my fire in this extravaganza, Irk for hanging with me in those lengthy farming calls, and finally Shabby. Even though he hates me, I enjoyed the battle with him, and now I will forever know that I was the first ever to reach 1 billion pumpkins, API on, and strong. Oh, and one more thing.